Sure, anybody can just let a whole bunch of goats out of a trailer and let them run around, right? But once all these animals are out roaming around, how do you get them all back in the trailer to go home? Well, here's the answer. You have to have a good dog. And we have a superstar in our dog, Q. Not the letter Q, but C-U-E. This little girl lives to herd goats. It's all she thinks about, it's all she dreams about. And she knows the drill. There's an open trailer, I gotta get my goats in there. Watch her as she creeps up here and just waits for them to start loading up. Now we run two different trailers, so once one trailer is full, she goes in, moves the rest of the herd back. That way we can get the gates closed and keep all those goats in there to go home. Then we bring in the other trailer and it's back to work for Q. She locates the remaining bunch, heads out, goes and gets them and repeats the process all over again. It is an absolute joy to watch her because of the joy that it brings her. So watch her here. She gets the main herd all bunched up, ready to get on the trailer, sits, make sure everybody's getting on. And she waits patiently while everybody gets on. But watch what she does now. She knows not everybody has gotten on. One last straggler, but he's not gonna get left behind. She makes sure he gets on. And while Grant is situating things, she makes sure nobody gets off. Now you might think, oh, that's fantastic. They're in this little backyard and it's easy to get them all to the same place. But watch this. What about in the wide open spaces? Q has several commands, but the two main commands that she has is away and come by. Away means to circle the herd from the right or in a counterclockwise fashion. And come by is from the left in a clockwise motion. So watch her as she just works the herd back and forth and it helps that the herd knows the drill too because we do this every day, every morning, every evening. We could just not do our job without this four-year-old little border collie. So just like in the backyard we had, we've got to load the first trailer first. She's got them all gathered and focused on getting on the bus. Then like always, she works in, breaks the herd in half, lets us close up the trailer so we can bring the other one in and then off to gather the rest of them. And we get asked all the time, do we ever leave goats behind or lose goats out in the wild? I really think that Q can count because she will go through every brush, every tree, all the grass, and she will find every single goat in the herd. You can see her back there in the back, rounding up all the little stragglers, making sure everybody is going home. As we grow in this goat grazing business, I'm sure we'll have to bring in another dog. But for now, this little girl can get it all done. So she's gathered them up all from the wild. Make sure that everybody is pointed towards the trailer and getting on. And this is the process we do about five days a week. She loads them up at the ranch. We unload them in the wild. She loads them up in the wild. Then we take them home at night and load them at the ranch and do it all again tomorrow. And that's how we do it. Have a goat day.